morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I have a lovely thought this morning, such an encouraging thought, and I've been encouraged as I've read the verse and thought a little bit about it, and I trust that God will bless you. I want to read to you a verse from Psalm 115, and it's verse 13 that I'd like to read, and it says this, He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The title I've given to my thought this morning is this, He loves to bless small things. And straight away, that was an encouragement to me. Doesn't matter how small we may feel or how small we are, God loves to bless you and he loves to bless me. So often we think to ourselves, why should God bless us? After all, we're nothing special. We are small and insignificant. And you know, we really are small and insignificant to this world. But to God, we are very, very important. Well, if we feel like that today, what a comfort it is in that verse 13 that we read. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. First of all, we must fear the Lord. That's the condition. Make sure that you fear this mighty God, this wonderful Savior that died upon the cross to save you from sin and from a lost eternity. You see, when it says he will bless them, both small and great, this surely is an encouragement to those who are humble and feel that they have a little talent and a small influence. But God cares about the small things in the world just as much, even perhaps more than he does about the great. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 29 tells us this, that not even a sparrow falls from the, uh, uh, to the ground without our heavenly father knowing. Isn't that tremendous? Not even a sparrow falls to the ground. He knows about it. There's nothing that he is not aware of. And that's wonderful to know in your experience and mine. When things come against us, he's aware of it. And he knows all that you need. Nothing and no one is too small for God. He makes use of us who may think that we are insignificant, may think that we can't accomplish much for him. He will make use of us. We, are so, we also often look around at others and say that they're giants in the things of the Lord. And we are but dwarfs. And we are not precious to God as much as what they are. But that's a total lie. We are lying to ourselves and we are allowing the enemy to lie to us. The fact of the matter is this, that Jesus paid the same price for those who we see as being great as he did for you and that he did for me. He shed his own precious blood. The price was exactly the same. He loves each one just as much as each other. And he is just as concerned with the lambs as he is with the full-grown sheep. You see, if they were a preference with the Lord, he does not arrange them as great and small, but he arranges them as small and great. Did you notice that in our verse? The small comes first and then the great. He loves to bless those who feel small in order to make them great and to be able to do great things in his work and for his glory. This is the God we serve. Oh, if you think you're small this morning, look to Jesus, look to his greatness, for he's the one that will bless you. He's the one that will bring you through into victory. He's the one that you will make you great for his glory, just like he did with little David. When David met Goliath, there was no opportunity, there was no way David was gonna win. But God gave him the victory. May God give you the victory today. And may he bless you. And I look forward to looking at another gem from God's word tomorrow morning. God bless you.